for I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves, and shall know that I am Yahuwah their Elohim. For I will give them a heart, and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And think upon my name, and return from their stiff neck, and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before Yahuwah. You see, the truth is, the heathens have done all that they can to hide the children of Israel. But the Most High said that he would wake us up in the land of our captivity and we would remember who we are. I found a video that presented these images in a book that you can buy on Amazon that cost no less than $500. Why are these books so expensive? In this depiction, you see Judah, son of Jacob and Leah. Judah was black and should have never been presented to us as a white man, as this would mean the 12 tribes of Israel, who were the sons of Jacob, were also black. As I look at these images of our ancestors, something deep down in my spirit automatically connects. As you look at their faces, you can see that the biblical stories were captured through their eyes. Black biblical images have been hidden all this time as they put the white people on the forefront to make us think that these were the people of the Bible. When in fact, these pictures that I'm showing you is closer to the way our ancestors once looked. Therefore, we can conclude that we are the very same people living at the end of time and walking out Bible prophecy. Despite the fact that we've had our identity and our culture stripped away from us by our oppressors, it's no coincidence that we have still been able to connect the dots. To connect the dots of history and the Bible, we must look to Bible prophecy. One of the greatest prophecies that came to pass in which was a hint and or a clue as to who we are as a people lies in Deuteronomy chapter 28. No other race of people were carried away into slavery on ships. Another clue that points to who we are is that it's not a coincidence that the so-called African Americans are the most oppressed, disrespected, and unfairly treated people in the Americas. But guess what? There's a sound biblical reason for the injustice that have been placed upon us and our ancestors during this over 400 year stay here in the Americas. In order to understand what's going on with so-called black people's condition today, we must understand Bible prophecies. As a result of slavery and having our identities and history stripped away from us, many of us have read the Bible our entire lives but still haven't been able to understand who and what the prophecies are referring to. Therefore, we read the Bible with a distorted perspective thinking that the Bible characters we're reading about were all white. When the truth is, the Bible was written by so-called black people. It was written by Hebrew Israelites, two Hebrew Israelites. In other words, it was written for us by us. And this is why there's so much corruption and confusion going on inside of the religious communities. Truth be told, people have no idea who the Bible is really written about so they use it as a source of faith out of ignorance. The Bible is our history book, and the scriptures only discuss the faith of the Hebrew Israelites, which was in Yahuwah and his son, Yahushua. However, being a Hebrew Israelite is not a religion, it's our nationality. So this makes it our identity. We are the children of Israel, and the writings in the Bible were written to inform and instruct us how we are supposed to live as Yah's chosen people. But as a result of the original children of Israel's disobedience to Yahuwah's commandments, they were later removed from their land and sent into several different enslavements. Now many of you so-called black people probably will not want to believe this, but we are currently 
in our last captivity. When Yahuwah used Moses to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt from bondage, the Most High gave an entire list of curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that would befall the children of Israel and their generations to come in the future if they didn't keep his commandments. And these curses were prophecies describing what would befall them in the future if they were disobedient. And these curses were to serve as a permanent sign or indicator as to who the children of Israel are throughout all our generations. So if so-called black people are truly the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, then our condition should match the curses in Deuteronomy 28, meaning we would suffer much oppression and this would leave you without any doubt in your mind as to who we are as a people. This concludes my message. May Yahuwah bless you and keep you and your family safe in this dark hour. Remember Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. He that endures until the end, the same shall be saved. Enjoy the rest of these images as we are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Shalom. As you see, everything is made at home. So, this is 15th century manuscripts. Sometimes, you know, it's uh, amazing that, you know, people in the 15th century, where they, uh, you know, aware of color, all the saints, even the virgin, is painted black. You know, today, even today, we don't have, we don't find such paintings in churches, in not always, you know, a bright color, not black color. So uh, it has to be studied very, very well, you know, this type of documents. Look, even the evangelist, this is Matthew.